Welcome to Naive Investor. My name is Gustavo Sayani. Today is October 21st, 2019, and this is our episode number 497. Today we continue our analysis of the electrical sector in Brazil, and it's time to take a look at CPFL Renovadas. We took a look at CPFL Energia, which is a more general kind of company, and Renovadas means renewable. Uh, in Portuguese, so this is about renewable energy. Uh, as always, uh, before we even go further, a review of why we are or why we are not investors in, in some company. In this case, I've never been an investor in CPFL. And why would that be? Well, just by looking at the numbers here, uh, you can see that debt relative to equity is quite high at 1.42, so not super safe here. Uh, current ratio not so great and basically for me at least personally the analysis would stop here so now we can update the numbers so we can do full year of 2018 at the very least and uh, I do have the the table here so we can start by taking a look consolidated 2018 and at the end of 2018, uh, net net equity was four billion two hundred fifty one. So we do, jot that down. Four two five one. Great. Now let's compare that to the total liabilities for the for this company. So that'll be current liabilities thirteen ninety six plus non current six five two nine seven nine two five. Liabilities have gone down, so that's good. Let's see that. So the way it's set up here, uh, you can see loans and financing here, so 476. And the ventures are separate. So 344 plus 344. And interestingly, they also have a line here about um, loans between controllees and controller companies. So let's, you know, sorry, let's do that again. So 476 plus 344 plus 105, 925. And that's just current, so that's just short term. So let's add non-current, long term. 925 plus 3291 plus 1448 and plus another 303 so that would give us 5967 okay so the debt to equity ratio is still hovering around the same level here which is if you remember we try to stick with uh, companies having debt to equities between 0 and 0 0.5 so 1.4 is almost three times that much not so good Onwards though, let's just get the, the rest of the numbers and learn more. So current ratio, <clears throat> that'll be current assets, in this case 1331. And we divide that by current liabilities, in this case 1396. So the company's current ratio will be 0 0.95. Again, like we demand or we would almost always need the current company's current ratio in to be at least 1.5, ideally at least 2, so they're very far from there. Onwards, so we can jot down the revenues here. So this is net revenue, 1936, compared with 1959, so it is it was down last year. What about earnings though? So Earnings were 119 here. Yeah, far better year than the three previous ones. Finally, we can take a look at free cash flow. And here it is. So, free cash flow will be operating cash flow. In this case, 562 or 3 here. 
and we deduct the investing cash flow because it was negative, meaning they invested out money, which is typical. So minus 54, 509 million in free cash flow. So pretty good year here compared to the previous ones in terms of free cash flow. So we could uh, draw up a conclusion at this point here. Like this company, you know, I might outside of this video just check out the more recent numbers, but it's unlikely that they will have switched around their debt profile very much in just uh, let's see, two or three stated quarters. So CPFL, uh, we added to to our list here. So CPFL, Hanovavis, bunch of tabs. Doesn't really matter. High debt, basically high debt. Just 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 does it as far as a heuristic here. So great. So this is this concludes our episode. Uh, we have many more electrical companies to take a look at, and we will continue to. So I invite you to subscribe to our channel if you've gotten this far and you like this kind of stuff so that you get the occasional not notification about our future episodes. If you have any questions, suggestions, criticism, and especially if you spot mistakes in the analysis, please leave a comment in the video and I'll be delighted to write you back as soon as I can. Meanwhile, I wish you a beautiful day. Hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.